Hey everyone, today we've got a new video on the Dodge Charger. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, I used to do rare Charger and Challenger videos covering some of the models that had a limited production run. With the LX slash LD Charger ending production at the end of this year, I thought it'd be cool to take a look back at the 10 rarest, or most limited, or least produced Dodge Chargers that exist. Of the 10 on the list, we will go from most produced to least produced. All the MSRPs are in US dollars, but the production runs are total worldwide unless stated otherwise. A confusing and controversial model comes in at number 10, the 2017 SRT392. People tend to forget that Dodge had a model in between the RT Scat Pack and SRT Hellcat, the SRT392 from 2015 to 2018 only. 2017 happened to be the rarest year of those, with just 513 out of the total 5,915 that were produced across the four model years. Of those 513, 421 went to the States, 80 went to Canada, and 12 were exported worldwide. So while the scat packs nowadays aren't an SRT model, this one is, even though it has the same 6.4 liter Hemi V8 as the scat pack, with 485 horsepower, 475 pound-feet of torque, and an 8-speed automatic. MSRP was $51,145 here, so that's $11,150 above a scat pack, and $14,800 below the Hellcats. When compared to a scat pack, the 392 added a few Hellcat features and other goodies. That includes a functional hood scoop and oil cooler, adaptive damping suspension with three modes, 20-inch forged aluminum wheels with wider 275-40 R20 tires, the big six-piston Brembo front calipers and 14.4-inch rotor from the Hellcat, and HID headlights instead of projectors. Inside, the SRT392 has the heated and ventilated Napa leather trimmed Alcantara seats, heated leather wrapped steering wheel, a rear backup camera, and 18-speaker Harman Kardon sound system standard, all upgrades over a scat pack. Dodge cancelled these due to lack of demand, as many felt that it wasn't worth the price point. In the ninth spot is the 2020 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Widebody Daytona 50th Anniversary Edition, which released with a US MSRP of $74,140, so that's $4,495 extra over what a regular 2020 Charger Hellcat Widebody would have cost. Dodge created this as a tribute to the original Charger Daytona, created in 1969 with just 501 units, with the goal to qualify for NASCAR racing, and so for this 2020 version there were also just 501 of them built. This car is based on the Hellcat widebody of course, so it gets the extra 3.5 inches of wider wheels and tires, those being 20 by 11 inch rims with 30535 R20 tires, a Bilstein 3 mode adaptive damping suspension, and electronic power steering. Other performance upgrades include race cooldown, line lock, launch control, and launch assist. As for the exterior, it was available in just four paint colors, B5 blue, pitch black, triple nickel, and white knuckle. It came with the Daytona rear quarter decal, deck lid, spoiler, and different color Hellcat badge. On the B5 blue, pitch black, and triple nickel, the decal, spoiler, and badge are in white. But on the white knuckle version, the decal and spoiler are blue, while the Hellcat badge gets a bright finish. Moving inside, the seats are your typical Daytona heated and ventilated Napa leather and Alcantara suede, finished in black with blue stitching, and Daytona embroidered in the back of the seat. That blue accent stitching continues through the center console armrest, door panels, dashboard, and the shifter as well. Another interior detail is an awesome looking Hellcat and Daytona badge on the passenger side dashboard, telling you which number yours is out of 501. As for performance, this Daytona has 717 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque, from the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 Hemi engine. Next for the Charger was the Super B. Dodge first introduced this trim from 1968 to 1971, giving customers an ultra high performance vehicle that could serve as both a daily driver and a weekend warrior at the track or drag strip. They brought it back a few times over the years, most recently as a 2023 Buzz model. This one takes both the number eight and number seven spots as there were two models, both with 500 units each. One is a B5 blue scat pack, while the other is the Plum Crazy in scat pack widebody form. Each of them features Super B badging on the grille and front fender, with graphics on the hood scoop and rear fenders, blue with the B5 blue, and white with the Plum Crazy. On the SRT hood, there's a black Mopar hood pin kit, and the rear gets SRT black exhaust tips. The scat gets 20 by 95 inch wheels with 275mm drag radials, while the widebody ups it to 18 by 11 inch drag wheels, with 315 drag radials, like a Superstock would have. Both have an adaptive damping suspension with drag mode, and red 4-piston Brembo brakes. Inside the Plus group is standard, which includes Napa Alcantara seats with the Super B seatback logos, as well as the carbon suede package that has a suede headliner and carbon fiber interior accents. 
Dodge started making RT Daytona models right from the get-go in 2006, and overall from 2006 to 2009, they produced 16,098 of them in 7 different colors combined. So a Daytona might not be that rare, however one color made up just 3% of the total, that being the 2009 stone white version. Dodge produced only 487 of these, 400 for the US, 75 for Canada, and another 12 that are known as unicorns, as they are unnumbered without a dash plaque and are missing certain aspects. MSRP was around 36000 The Daytona models got a black honeycomb grille, front chin spoiler, 20 by 8 inch chrome clad wheels, heritage red RT badging instead of the normal chrome ones, and a rear diffuser. Black decals were added on top of the stone white paint, like a Hemi hood decal, Daytona side strobe stripe running along the sides of the car, blacked out deck lid, and a black spoiler. The interior also got performance leather and suede seats with red Daytona logos stitched in the front headrests. Interestingly, other 06 and 07 Daytona models had color matching seat logos, bezels, and stitching, but that stopped for 2008 and 2009. On the passenger side, you can find your limited edition Daytona badge, showing the production number of the car. These ones out of 400 are obviously the US versions. There's also a different Daytona instrument cluster. Performance isn't changed from a normal 2009 RT. It has a 5-speed automatic transmission with auto stick and the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with 368 horsepower and 395 pound-feet of torque. Daytona's also got a performance suspension with Nivamat self-leveling rear shock absorbers, as well as dual exhaust tips and a Hemi orange engine cover. 2009 was a special year because next on the list is the 2009 Hemi Orange Super B. Dodge had one each year based on the SRT8 from 2007 to 2009 for a total of 2,425Bs, but the Hemi Orange is by far the most limited at just 425 made for 2009. MSRP was around $43,500, so that's roughly $5,000 more than a regular SRT8 was. The Super B got the same styling as the SRT8 with the SRT bumper and hood, rear diffuser, 3.5 inch exhaust tips, and a spoiler. It's easily distinguishable from a regular SRT8 with a black hood decal with Hemi lettering, a hockey stick stripe decal on the rear quarter panels, blacked out deck lid, and Super B badging on both sides of the front fenders. It sits on SRT 20x9 inch forged aluminum wheels with black pockets, and has Brembo 4 piston calipers in all four corners. Moving inside, the Super B gets a black interior with orange accent stitching on the seats, steering wheel, and shift knob. There are power adjustable front sport bucket seats with suede inserts. Each Super B gets a limited edition plaque on the passenger side of the dashboard that shows you what your production number is. Another nice touch is found on the shifter and center console bezels, as they are made from a carbon fiber-like material. Also, when you turn on the car, you'll see the Super B logo in the instrument cluster instead of the SRT logo on the SRT8 models. Under the hood was a 6.1 liter V8 Hemi, making 425 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque, paired with a 5-speed automatic with auto stick. Before we had cars such as the Scat Pack and SRT392, there was the SRT8392 appearance package. You could add this on to your new Charger SRT8, costing $2,495 extra, bringing the total cost for one of these to an MSRP of $48,740. Only 392 were built in total, 136 in 2013, and 256 in 2014. The 392 of course stands for the 392 cubic inch engine that was found in these SRT models. Visually these 392 stand out from the regular SRTs. The power bulge area of the hood, roof, side mirrors, and rear spoiler are all painted pitch black, and on both fenders you can find the gloss black 392 Hemi badging. Running along the side of the car is a satin black SRT lower body side stripe with an accent tracer just below it. The wheels are 20 by 9 inches finished in black vapor chrome. Only 5 paint colors were offered for this package, bright white, billet silver, plum crazy, hemi orange, and tor red. On the inside, the only changes seem to be the unique dash plaque that shows the production build, serial numbered out of 392 of course. The 6.4 liter 392 under the hood didn't change either, although it did get 392 engine covers instead of the regular 6.4 liter hemi ones. This 392 made 470 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque with a 5-speed automatic with paddle shifters and auto stick. Third on this list is the King Daytona, which will be very hard to find with just 300 produced for 2023. This model pays homage to the Southern California drag racing scene of the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Big Willie Robinson was the founder of the National Brotherhood of Street Racers, which was an organization meant to promote organized drag racing as a way of uniting people of all races and classes, easing racial tensions, and keeping people on the track and off the streets. 
Big Willie had a 1969 Charger Daytona in orange. Just like Big Willie's, the 2023 version is orange with Go Mango paint. The King Daytona is based on the Hellcat Red Eye Widebody with 807 horsepower and 717 pound-feet of torque. As for the features of the King Daytona, to fit under the wider body, there are 20 by 11 inch satin carbon warp speed wheels with matching orange six-piston Brembos beneath them. There are satin black rear fender graphics that read King Daytona on each side. All the exterior badging is done in satin chrome, and Mopar's added a hood pin kit for a retro touch. Inside there are familiar Daytona seats, but surprisingly no Laguna leather like most of the Hellcats have. Dodge has put black Alcantara seats that have the orange stitching and Daytona embroidered in the seat backs, and the steering wheel matches as it's also finished in Alcantara. The orange interior accent stitching continues on the instrument panel, console, steering wheel, and door trim. And finally, you can find a King Daytona badge on the passenger side dashboard. Despite all the flashy 2023 last call models, the rarest 2023 model ends up being the Mopar 23 Dodge Charger. Unfortunately, there are a lack of pictures as the car isn't out yet. Each year since 2010, Mopar has produced a limited edition factory produced Mopar modified vehicle. Mopar is only making 220 of these, 200 for the US and 20 for Canada, based on the RT Scat Pack widebody vehicles. The Mopar 23 version has an MSRP of $61,320, so that's roughly $3,995 on top of the Scat Pack widebody. This model is finished in pitch black clear coat with matte black graphics and a Mopar blue tracer stripe on the hood, roof, and deck lid. There's also a Mopar blue grill badge and calipers, Mopar valve stem caps, and an all new carbon fiber deck lid spoiler. The widebody allows it to have 20 by 11 inch forged aluminum carbon black wheels. Dodge added several packages here to differentiate these from a regular Scat Pack widebody, like the $1,595 carbon suede interior package, $2,985 plus group, and $475 Mopar interior appearance group. There isn't a performance improvement though, just the tried and true 6.4 liter Hemi V8 with 485 horsepower, 475 pound-feet of torque, and the Torque Flight 8-speed auto. All the Mopar 23s will have a serialized Mopar instrument panel badge, and each buyer gets an owner's kit with a personalized metal certificate of authenticity, with a serialized vehicle build number and a special rendering of the vehicle by the Mopar design team. Now, the rarest Charger of all might surprise you. It's another Mopar edition, the Mopar 15 Charger. The brand offered a performance upgrade kit for the 2015 Charger RT, with all the parts coming in a special wooden Mopar crate that was serial numbered. The starting base price of the Charger RT was $33,595 US in 2015. This kit would add $3,550 to that price, and they were limited to just 50 copies only. You had to order both the car and the kit together, available in 10 paint colors. I've tried to find pictures, but they were extremely hard to find, and I can't help but think that most of the kits weren't actually used, but just stored away by collectors for the future. I did manage to find one guy on the LX forums by the name of B5RT, who posted about his, so forgive me about the photo bucket watermarks. Back around this time, Mopar was promoting their Scat Pack Performance Stage Packages, and this Mopar 15 comes with Stage 1, with a cold air intake, catback exhaust, premium fuel PCM, and a high flow oil filter, along with a strut tower brace for better handling. Mopar says the overall gains are 18 horsepower and 18 pound-feet of torque, so that should push the RT power numbers up from 370 to 388 horsepower, and 395 to 413 pound-feet of torque. There were also a few aesthetic tweaks to separate this charger from the rest. They were matte black side body graphics that ran from bumper to bumper, just above the rockers with the writing Mopar 15, as well as a scat pack badge with your Mopar kit number on it and Mopar tread plates. These are all minor details, but instantly recognizable if you know your chargers. The inside gets a bit of an upgrade with Mopar door sill plates, a bright pedal set, and a Mopar 15 serialized dash plaque. Owners also got a second package that included a certificate of authenticity, a brochure, a vintage Scat Pack poster, a Mopar Performance Fender badge, a Mopar Magnetic Mechanics tray, and more, all found in a branded and numbered wooden crate. So that's it for this video on the top 10 rarest Dodge Charger models. Do you own any of these vehicles? And also, were there any surprises for you on this list? Let me know down in the comment section below. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you in the next video.